When you first start your training or if you've never addressed it before, your core strength is one of the most important things you can do. If you spend a good six weeks really working on developing your core muscles, the strength that you'll have on all your primary lifts, your squatting and your deadlifting and your benching will probably be stronger than it's ever been before. I've had a lot of success really working on foundation building, which is really what your core muscles are all about. If you've never heard about your core, your core muscles are your abdominals and also your low back, everything that ties the upper and lower body together. The stronger you are centrally, the stronger you're gonna be out in your periphery with your, with your arms and your legs. This is a really advanced movement and a movement that can be broken down a lot simpler, but I'm gonna show you this, this one move. I'm gonna be in a push-up position with my feet up on the ball. The big key with any kind of core movement that you're in a, a prone push-up position is that, again, you're thinking of what your upper body posture is doing, but also what your posture of your spine is doing. You wanna, wanna make sure that your lower back doesn't arch at all and you're maintaining good core stability throughout. A simple cue to make sure that you are holding your core is to think of drawing your belly button in towards your spine. So if you can just imagine just gently trying to pull that belly button back towards your, your spine, almost like you have a string attached to the back side of your belly button and you're just gently trying to pull that back, that's going to help incorporate what's called your transverse abs and they wrap around your trunk just like a pelvic girdle. So if you can imagine the muscles attach into the back all the way around the front. When you pull that belly button in, it helps cinch everything in nice and tight and support that lower back. For a kick through, I'm going to start in a push up position. Toes on the ball. Trying to maintain good posture. Bring one knee up towards the chest. Kick the foot through. Bring it back to the start and switch. Make sure the foot that's on the ball is turning towards the instep. And that will allow your hips to turn better. Very challenging movement. On this, it's more than the reps is really the quantity that or the quality that we're looking for. If you don't have good quality, that's the time to stop. If you feel your back arch, if you feel your lower back muscles at all, stop, take a brief rest, reset, and then go again.